Sang Awit ng Pilipinas. Ang pitupi na parang niya 
Alright, so uh, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to our Saturday scheduled uh, webinar. And I hope that audiovisual uh, presentation, presentation will make you feel excited for what we will be talking about uh, this morning. Okay, so this uh, Saturday we will be introducing on how we can reimagine a better normal with Lego Education by presenting a new a uh, Lego education solution that we can use for hybrid learning. Because in Lego education, we believe that learning can happen anywhere, all right? But before we proceed with the training proper, let me introduce our uh, president and CEO to give us an opening remarks. Thank you very much, Annalyn, and good morning to all our viewers this morning. How I hope everybody's fine in the sunny day here. And um, we'd like just yes, to introduce the new product, which is the Lego Brick Cube Motion, which you can use both at home and um, probably even in, um, in uh, uh, well, if for the teachers, no? we can use it in your school if you, if you have the school where you go to the school. And uh, Brick Cube Motion is actually a very way, good way for us to engage our elementary and secondary school students from the comfort and the safety of their homes. And they can do experiments with forces, motion, and interactions on the content of the Lego Brick Cube Motion. And this product is actually good for us to use in the hybrid modality since uh, we are still going to be staying at home in this coming school year. In this, at the same time, it will also provide a way for our learners to explore physics, physical science in a fun and engaging way. So I believe that this product, this new Lego Brick Q Motion is a good addition to our learning tools, both at home and for the teachers for your school. You can use it for your online training. You can use it also for your own experiments and you can conduct your own experiments and provide your own activities. It comes with the curriculum and the activity packs and each box contains 562 minifigures and other parts of Lego. So with this, I'd like to turn you over for a wonderful and engaging day today, learning Lego Brick Q Motion. Thank you so much for spending your time with us this Saturday and let's learn as one. Thank you. God bless. Hey, right. uh, thank you so much, uh, Miss Mary Abira, for that uh, wonderful uh, introduction. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, so uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, we will uh, introduce on how we can uh, reimagine a better normal with uh, Lego education because uh, we believe in Lego education, learning can happen anywhere. So uh, this morning, we'll be talking more of Lego uh, Education uh, Brick Q. Okay, it's a solution that um, 
we are proposing for you that you can use for a hybrid learning since that next school year we are still on a remote learning uh, uh, setup. So with uh, Lego Education, we can uh, reimagine a better uh, normal, all right? As educators around the world address the disruptions to student learning because of COVID-19 pandemic, it is even more important to uh, provide uh, meaningful learning experiences that help build our resilience. In uh, Lego Education as uh, solutions, it has been purposefully designed to increase uh, student engagement and confidence for all our learners out there. And um, educating about with this uh, solution, teachers will find guidance and uh, inspiration to continue hands-on learning with Lego. So with um, with uh, reimagining in in, uh, in a better normal with Lego Education, we can uh, rebuild the world. Uh, we can uh, gain uh, confidence uh, in learning, a meaningful uh, failure for that setting. We need to explore. Uh, we need to do testing in order for us to uh, succeed with all the projects that we are working with uh, Lego. Uh, iterative learning, building lifelong learner, social emotional learning, engagement, and um, uh, uh, coding as well. So in uh, Lego education, uh, we are much uh, dedicated to inspire the students of today to become smart to become creative and esteem-minded leaders of tomorrow. In line with that, let me show you the Lego Education Learning Continuum. So I'm going to uh, give uh, a brief overview of Lego Education uh, Learning Continuum. Lego Education uh, solutions are, are organized into uh, three different developmental levels. As you can see from my slide, we have early learning uh, solutions. Uh, those are Animal Bingo, we have the STEM Park, uh, Coding Express, and many more. Then uh, next to that, we also have solutions for primary. So from there, we have the Lego Education We Do 2.0. Then uh, at this moment, we already have the Brick Q Motion uh, Essential Set that I, I'll be discussing more later. Then, uh, of course, uh, uh, the, the solution for uh, uh, for a secondary learning. We're in, uh, with that, we'll be having as well the Brick Q Motion Prime. Then we also have there the Lego Mindstorms uh, Education EV3. And, of course, the Lego Education Spike Prime. Okay. As a student progress with this um, uh, solution, it comes from uh, one level to the next, and there's always a continuous connection between the science and engineering concept that they will learn, okay? So definitely they will begin with learning uh, of uh, simple structures and go on to explore the operation of gears, levers uh, fully, and then uh, eventually they will progress to basic programming. That's why we have there the Lego Education We Do 2.0. Then a reinforcement and continuity will help our student understand that design uh, that the design engineering process really is an iterative process that includes trial and error. Okay, with Brick Q Motion, okay, it is a STEM solution that introduces uh, both a primary and secondary school student to Lego Education way of learning. Okay. Then uh, uh, next to that is, uh, let me show you an audio visual uh, presentation of what we can get with Lego Education Brick Q Motion.
All right, so that is the Lego Education Brick Q Motion. Now let's start off with Brick Q Motion Essential Set. Okay, so this uh, solution is an engaging introductory hands-on STEM solution. Encourage a student to discover uh, physical science uh, in action. Okay, and uh, Brick Q Motion engage uh, our uh, elementary and middle, uh, middle school student in STEM learning as they will uh, experiment with forces, motion, and interaction in the context of sports. Okay, uh, Brick Q Motion will provide easy hands-on uh, learning experience that will uh, definitely spark a cool aha moment with our uh, student uh, seeing Lego bricks in motion without the need for a uh, technology, okay? Because uh, it comes with a printed building instruction and replacement uh, elements that is already included for easy classroom management. And it also comes with new numbered uh, tiles, facilitated uh, visual math uh, practice, making math more relevant, creative, and fun. Right, so let's talk about uh, what is in the box of uh, Lego Education Brick Q Motion. So uh, with this, um, we have the essential set for a primary student. And then later on, I'll be showing you uh, the, the prime set for a secondary student. So in the box, this uh, comes with 523-piece set includes four uh, minifigures and a variety of easy build elements like uh, it comes with gears, weighted bricks, uh, spring, and more. Then uh, the color-coded sorting trays is the building process and make end of class clean up quick and uh, efficient. So that is for... Um, for a management of all uh, the pieces that we have from, from the set. Then it also comes with the new number tile facilitate visual math practice, making math more relevant, uh, creative and fun. And the set also includes the replacement elements and two printed uh, building instruction booklet with inspirational ideas for us to uh, help our students. Uh, and even those who have never built with Lego bricks before will definitely discover physical science in action, okay? And for more information of what is uh, in the box, you can check out our website, okay? Then, uh, another special thing about with this Lego Education Brick U Motion even if this is not uh, requiring for us to uh, use a uh, technology, it comes with a complete curriculum uh, curriculum uh, plan. Okay, so for lesson plans, this introductory STEM experience offers two curriculum unit of standard aligned lesson that uh, include engaging videos and printable worksheet to excite, of course, and inspire our student. And all the lesson plans, uh, teachers' video, assessment rub uh, rubrics, and math and language art extension to support and scaffold at teachers. So for your reference, again, you may visit uh, uh, Felta Multimedia website or uh, Lego Education with www.legoeducation.com. And this Brick Q Motion Essential is supported by a comprehensive professional development program. For you to uh, see that, uh, please uh, visit our website. Then what is inside the uh, curriculum? Okay, so there are seven to uh, eight lessons that you can uh, uh, do for uh, 45 minute, uh, minutes each. But uh, of course, it's always um, uh, depend on the, the teachers. Um, one open-ended project with two 45-minute sessions on the last part of the uh, content. Then it also comes with 30-plus minutes uh, language arts and math extension for uh, each uh, lesson. Then it also comes with 6 to 10 hours of educational content. So you can check all out this uh, information through uh, www.legoeducation.com website.
Okay. Uh, I'm telling you a while ago that um, this is a good solution that we can use for uh, remote learning. Okay. And this is actually a good uh, proposal that, that we can uh, use for hybrid learning. For the good thing about with this Lego Education Brick Q Motion, it comes with a personal learning kit. As I, uh, I showed you a while ago, the, the set itself, it comes with a blue big box for the whole corset that is actually designed for uh, the teachers who be handling the, the class. And then this personal learning kit is designed for, for uh, the students at home. All right. So uh, technically, we uh, do uh, virtual uh, learning online classes. So the, the corset itself will be the use for teachers and the personal learning kit is a design for uh, for students at home okay so the personal uh, learning kits are small sets of lego elements designed for one is to one pupil uh, use okay they will definitely uh, enable teachers to continue delivering science technology engineering even art and mathematics lesson while uh, driving strong learning outcome in a hybrid learning environment, whether it is in a physical distance, a distance a classroom or at home, okay? So the BrickQ motion set can be combined with this personal learning kits and additional at-home lesson plans to extend and consolidate uh, pupils in, in, uh, in class learning and deepen their understanding of courses, motions, and interaction. So this personal learning kit will definitely uh, help you uh, to continue the classroom learning experience wherever your students are with the personal learning kit. So what are the benefits that we can get of having this personal learning kit? Uh, it comes with uh, a play pool and engaging STEM learning that can happen anywhere. For as I mentioned a while ago, this personal learning kit is designed for student uh, who is uh, staying at home. Okay. Then uh, next to that is okay. Um, this uh, personal learning kit comes with sixty-two elements supplementary kit for elementary school student. Uh, includes a uh, building instruction and enrichment lessons designed to be used by the student at a time okay so you don't need uh, uh you don't need for you to worry for it always comes with a complete instruction and a module lesson that they can use for a certain uh, activity then this personal learning kit is designed to work together with the classroom set so the classroom set will be uh, for the teachers and this uh, supplementary STEM learning experience comes with additional teaching resources as well. And student uh, worksheet that depends student understanding of what they've learned during class for a true hybrid learning uh, experience. Okay, this personal learning kit is a powerful extension of Lego Education Classroom set. The personal learning kit will enable educators to continue delivering STEM curriculum while driving strong learning outcomes in a hybrid learning environment. Okay. Uh, now, um, BrickQ Motion, for your information, is uh, was or was developed on a comprehensive uh, research and the Lego Education approach to learning. Okay. It's an introductory hands-on STEM experience for a primary and secondary school student, which will help them discover physical science in action with a sport-related context that will uh, definitely uh, keep them engaged and feel uh, more uh, excited. And as they experiment hands-on with forces, uh, with motion and interaction, they will begin to understand a key concept related uh, to physical science. And BrickQ motion uh, essential is for primary student um, grades from pre-kinder to a grade five, while BrickQ motion prime is for secondary student that is designed for grade six to grade eight. 
and uh, neither solution requires uh, the use of technology. Okay, so with that, let me show you an ABP video of Brick Q Motion Essential Set. All right, so that is the Brick Q Motion Essential Set that is designed for an uh, elementary student. Okay, um, next to that will be a uh, showing you the Brick Q Motion Prime. This is designed for a uh, primary uh, student. Okay, so uh, the Lego Education Brick Q Motion Prime uh, set engaged a student in grade six to grade eight in the exploration of physical science within within a sport context that will uh, definitely make our student more uh, excited and engaged. And this brick you motion will uh, definitely help foster an understanding of forces, uh, motion and interaction by providing easy hands-on learning experiences without the need for a technology. But it comes with a modules uh, a lesson uh, plan modules and activity uh, printed uh, modules that they can use at home. Okay, so uh, it comes with a printed uh, building instruction and replacement uh, elements that is already included for easy classroom management. With the new numbered foils, a student can easily gather data on variables, uh, angles, height, and lengths to support their analysis and syn uh, synthesis, okay? Then, uh, how are we going to discover uh, physical science? Um, it is an engaging introductory hands-on STEM solution that will definitely encourage our student to discover physical science in action. And uh, LEGO Education Brick Q Motion Prime engage a secondary school student in STEM learning as they will uh, experiment with forces, uh, with motion, and interaction within a sport context, then uh, Brick Q Motion Prime will provide uh, easy hands-on learning experiences without the need for a technology, wherein a student will uh, experience a cool aha moment as they will uh, set Lego bricks in motion. So let's talk about of what is inside the box. So for Prime, it comes with 564 pieces. Uh, the set includes four uh, minifigures and an extensive selection of special elements. Like it comes with gears, it comes with uh, wheels, balls, uh, weights, and uh, pneumatics, okay? And uh, the color-coded sorting trees for us to ease the building process and make end a class clean up quick and uh, efficient. So this is actually a new uh, picture for this uh, brick you motion uh, set, okay? And with the new number of foils, a student can easily gather data on variables, on angles, heights, and lengths for us to support their analysis and syn synthesis then uh, the set also include a replacement elements and printed building instruction with the inspirational ideas in order for us to help our student discover physical science in action and same thing with the essential set 
it also comes with lesson plans, okay? This introductory STEM experience offers a one curriculum unit of standard aligned lessons that include uh, engaging videos and printable worksheet to excite and ins uh, inspire our student and lesson plans, uh, teachers' videos, assessment rubrics, and math and language art extension in order for us to support and scaffold teachers. Okay, so for science of sport, this is designed for grade six to grade eight. And for you to see of what do we have for adolescent plan, again, you can check out Lego Education uh, website. Okay, and let's go, then now let's discover of what uh, what's in a uh, curriculum unit for uh, for this prime okay so it comes with seven to eight lessons of 45 minutes uh, each but it again it's always depend on you you can stretch that out then uh, one open-ended project with two 45 minutes a uh, session okay then it also comes with 30 plus minute uh, language art and math extension for uh, each uh, lesson then six to ten hours of educational content so the curriculum unit is already uh, embedded uh, from the core set what you just need to do is explore and and realign that to your uh, curriculum okay and same thing with the essential set um, the prime set comes with personal learning kit okay so with a personal learning kit, we can uh, continue the classroom learning experience. Wherever your students are, are with the personal learning kit, and this is a powerful extension of Lego Education Classroom set, okay? So with this, it comes with playful and engaging STEM learning that can happen anywhere. For again, this personal learning kit is the design for learners or student at home, okay? Uh, this personal learning kit for Prime comes with 78 element supplementary kit for secondary school student, uh, includes a building instruction and enrichment lessons. And each kit is intended to be used by one student at a time, all right? Again, each personal learning kit for essential and for prime is intended to be used by one student at a time. Of course, that's why we are uh, proposing this hybrid uh, learning solution is for us to proceed uh, uh, learning with um, with uh, Lego education, okay? Uh, solutions, of course. Then um, this personal learning kit is designed uh, for, in order for us to work together with the classroom set and uh, this supplementary STEM learning experience comes with additional teaching resources and student worksheet that will deepen student understanding of what they've learned during class for a true hybrid learning experience. Again, um, the classroom set is designed for the teachers and the personal learning kit is designed for students at home in order for us to uh, continue okay hands-on learning through the use of the plk which is the personal learning kit okay uh, the personal learning kit will uh, enables our educators to continue delivering stem curriculum while driving um, um, uh, strong learning outcomes in a hybrid learning environment now uh, let me show you an abp video of what we can uh, expect for uh, this Lego Education uh, Break You Motion Prime.
All right. So that is the brick you motion uh, prime set. Okay. So uh, for your uh, information, um, with a brick you motion, it offers two uh, classroom set. Uh, the first one is the primary set. And then this um, prime set is designed for a secondary education. Now, uh, let me share with you the unit progression. Okay, let's talk about the curriculum. Okay, there you go. So, I'm going to uh, introduce the progression in the BRICQ uh, motion uh, units. So, both units uh, include uh, seven uh, lessons that can be completed uh, in uh, 45 minutes uh, each, except for the last one, which is designed to take uh, place over uh, two 45-minute sessions. So it's always up to you. Uh, the first lesson uh, in each unit is an introductory lesson that will help familiarize your uh, student with the sport team and the content of the set and prepare them for the following lessons, okay? Then next to that, the five lessons in the middle of each unit are guided lessons where your uh, student will uh, definitely explore various aspects of forces and motion, okay? Then the final lesson in each unit is a more open-ended project that will uh, definitely test your student understanding of the forces and motion by asking them to apply what they know in order for them to design a final creation on their own. And all of the lesson include a math or language art extension and the lesson plans with a detailed uh, instruction for uh, preparing, facilitating, and following up uh, on all of the lesson that can be found on legoeducation.com slash lessons, okay? Now, um, um, next to that, I'm going to uh, show you the unit progression that is designed for hybrid learning. Let's see the, 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 the adjustment, okay? With hybrid uh, learning personal uh, learning kits, Okay, so I'm going to uh, introduce uh, the opportunities for hybrid learning using the PLK, which is the personal uh, learning kits. Now that we uh, completed another um, another um, break you uh, motion essential uh, classroom set, sometimes we would like to uh, continue hands-on learning with our student aren't at school. So... So we want to continue hands-on learning with students at home, uh, but uh, for sure we'll be a uh, uh, we'll be uh, um, a thinking of the effectiveness of this. Um, the good thing about with this, it comes with a structured hands-on learning outside the classroom that can be challenging for our student. And to make it uh, easier, break your motion. Essential set offers a personal learning kit, um, which is the PLK, in addition to the classroom set. This contains a familiar, a familiar Lego elements and printed building instruction, and it comes with additional uh, teaching and learning resources that we can use that are linked directly to the classroom lessons in Brick U Motion Essential Unit. And with this lesson extension, student can uh, deepen their understanding of what they've learned with the classroom set at school when they are at home. As I discussed a while ago, all the lesson comes with uh, extra uh, lessons with mathematics and language. Okay? Now, for the hybrid uh, learning resources, as you can see, we have there the jump up and cheer. Uh, it's an extent, it's an actually an extension to the get up and dance lesson. And um, I can actually uh, show you that if you have this uh, PLK, but since we don't have the actual set with us, okay, we'll just be um, uh, showing you 
Okay, the progression a unit. Okay, so please uh, refer to the lesson that I am saying. With in in the get up and dance lesson, students were uh, su uh, supposed to build a dance floor using gears and learn about uh, how pushing forces affect the speed and direction of gears. So usually that's uh, how we uh, incorporate this with our lesson. Uh, and the lesson plan for the personal learning kit extension is the jump up and cheer that will challenge them to build a cheerleader that can move up and down using gears and comms and which will extend their un understanding for courses and motion. So um, each unit includes three lessons with a personal learning kit extension to allow for hybrid learning with a good mix of in-class and at-home uh, learning. In contrast to the classroom set that are meant to be shared by two students, the personal learning kits are designed for one student to take home and use on their own as the name suggests, okay? So for you, uh, for you to get more information, you can visit um, legoeducation.com okay for um for a uh, support on managing today classroom for uh, educators it will definitely uh, give you a short overview of the available uh, supports um and guidelines and tips and tricks for adjusting learning to different formats okay and also for managing resources outside the classroom and if you run an extended uh, version of this course uh, considering facilitating uh, each lesson using the classroom set or by handling out your personal learning kit to every participants. Okay. Look at this one. Look at the adjustment. Okay. So as what we notice, okay, we added a learning extension like ultimate obstacle course jump up and cheer, hockey and drill, okay? So we have their train to win and winning with science. Okay, train to win for the essential and winning with science with prime. With prime, uh, added extensions are high jump, three pointer and pan finish line, okay? And for you to see more, you can uh, visit uh, legoeducation.com slash lessons. Okay, then, okay, there you go. Now, let's talk about hands-on learning, why this is uh, more important than ever, okay? Hands-on learning will uh, definitely help our students retain what they learn, that is very important, which build a resilience and confidence. And students who develop resilience are better able to face disappointment for they also learn from their uh, failure that's part of their experience. They will cope, uh, cope with, uh, with loss and adapt to change and all skills that are highly relevant now and in the future. Look at the data in here. Okay, it says that 95% of educators believe that the number one way their student can build confidence uh, in STEM subjects is working on a hands-on project with others. So uh, definitely it requires a collaboration, okay? Then 93% uh, of parents uh, believe the number one way their student can build confidence in STEM subject is working hands-on projects with other, okay? So 95% for the educator and 93% for the parents' feedback, okay? Then it says that 57% of students say that they need hands-on experience and tool to master STEM subject, which is uh, science, uh, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics then 87 percent of the students say uh they tend to 
they tend to uh they tend to uh, remember they okay i'm sorry for that okay then uh let's discuss it again and 87 percent of the students say that they tend to remember the topics longer when learning through hands-on project remember we are highlighting here the importance of hands-on learning okay then another thing, 89% of students say that hands-on learning helps them learn on new things and thus make them more confident in learning new things, okay? So uh, with this, a student who are confident in learning STEM subjects are more than twice uh, as uh, likely to say that they were confident in school today. And 82% uh, uh, confident in STEM compared to 33% that is not confident in STEM, okay? That's why in LEGO education, we believe that hands-on learning is very important, spe specifically talking about STEM programs, okay? Now, um, flex, uh, flexibility is the key during uh, a pandemic, okay? Teachers uh, would like to uh, replicate the classroom experience and, of course, uh, to continue to deliver engaging lessons with strong learning outcomes while continuing to nurture their uh, student. But there are numbers of barriers that uh, stands in their way. Okay, so the, unpre uh, the unpredictable climate of education, inadequate resources, especially for our remote learning, in inequity among students, and lack of students and teachers' uh, support. So uh, LEGO Education offers flexible hands-on learning solution that will definitely help our teachers overcome these barriers. And uh, we provide uh, STEAM uh, solutions that will definitely allow uh, teachers to uh, deliver engaging hands-on learning across all uh, environments, okay? Especially with this new uh, uh, solution, uh, Brick Q Motion is uh, one of the best um, uh, solution that we can uh, enjoy with hybrid um, learning modalities. Okay, so we simply need to adapt a Lego education lessons. So Lego education lesson follows a 5E models of, uh, of instruction. And with the help of resources, teachers are able to adapt lessons and conduct some portions in school and other portion while students are learning remotely. Okay, so what are the 5E? Uh, of course, we need the student to uh, become engaged, okay? Then right after that, we saw that the students are already motivated, that our students are already excited, and our students are really into, uh, into, uh, the, uh, into a certain topic that we are proposing. That is the time that we will start uh, helping our students to uh, explore and right after they uh, do exploration, technically they will test, they will do experiment in order for them to, um, to, uh, to find solution. Then next to that would be uh, explain. Of course, we need to see how they do it, how they uh, succeed and whatever uh, they discover during the exploration part. Then that is the time that we'll move forward with the elaboration, okay? Then right after we elaborate and see how they uh, overcome, how they uh, encounter things upon exploration and how they able to come up with a good solution for the certain uh, problem. Okay, that is the time that we will even wait. Okay, and with LEGO education uh, uh, lessons, there's always a helpful resources that we can use. Okay, plus it also comes with professional development for, for all the educators out there who are using our uh, solution for STEM. And 
bringing hands on at home. With Bricky Motion Classroom sets at home, students can uh, discover uh, physical science in action without the need for a uh, technology. Okay, with personal learning kits, a student uh, engage in hands-on STEM learning from home. Okay, so uh, Brick U Motion classroom set at home uh, for teachers. Then we have Brick U Motion hybrid lessons plus the personal learning kit. Then for Spike Prime hybrid lessons plus um, personal learning kit and uh, helpful uh, resources. So. Uh, as you can see, all the solutions that we are uh, proposing comes with uh, helpful uh, resources that uh, we can use in order for us to succeed with a hybrid um, hybrid uh, learning modalities that we are proposing with uh, with the use of Lego uh, Education solution. Okay, so for hybrid learning. Uh, Brick U Motion offers a uh, flexible hybrid learning extension. This make it easy to extend the Brick U Motion experience to a remote environment so pupils can continue their learning outside of the classroom. And the PLK or the personal learning kits have been designed especially for this purpose. Okay, so when... When uh, used in combination with the classroom set, the PLK or the personal learning kit will definitely reinforce in, in class learning outcomes by supporting ongoing uh, exploration outside of the classroom. Okay, so again, with this, uh, with this uh, new solu solution, so um, personal learning kit is available with a Lego Brick Q Motion Essential uh, Personal Learning Kit that is for uh, the primary student and Lego Education Brick Q Motion Prime Personal Learning Kit for uh, secondary. And uh, remember, when used in combination with Brick Q Motion Classroom Set, there are three 45 minute hybrid learning extension for unit that we can use which um, pupils can use to continue their learning at home, okay? So uh, FAQ that you might want to ask with this uh, new uh, solution. So what is the recommended uh, pupil to personal learning kit uh, ratio? Uh, one personal learning kit contains enough building elements for one pupil only. In order for uh, in order to uh, complete the hybrid uh, learning lessons, and for an optional hybrid learning uh, experience, we recommend one personal learning kit per pupil. Okay, and the classroom set are designed for one to two ratio. So for face-to-face -face learning, okay, classroom set are designed for one is to two, but with the use of personal learning kit at home we recommend one PLK or one personal learning kit for each uh, student, okay? As an example, a single classroom with 20 pupils will need 10 classroom set and 20 personal learning kit. And if the classroom set are being shared among three different classes of 20 pupils each, uh, 10 classroom set and 60 personal uh, learning kit will be needed, okay? Then how are the personal learning kit used with, uh, with uh, this hybrid learning modality? The personal learning kit are intended to reinforce uh, pupils in class break you motion learning outcomes in alternative setting. Uh, usually that is at home, okay? So each pupil should be assigned their own PLK and this will allow them to work individually with uh, a brick set and the hybrid learning lessons. Uh, the personal learning kit are an excellent way to support hands-on STEM learning beyond the classroom. Okay, uh, with this, um, we still uh, want to, to uh, you know, um, to 
to I uh, to follow uh, protocols because of this COVID nineteen pandemic. So I guess this uh, break you motion is a great solution for hybrid modalities. The, and this solution is developed for for uh, for hybrid um, modalities. Okay, so. For other learning resources for BrickQ Motion, you can actually visit legoeducation.com lessons in order for you to uh, find uh, online lessons. But let me share my screen for me to show you. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have here guidelines on how we can manage uh, today's uh, classroom. So we have their COVID-19 resources, hybrid learning, virtual learning, and at-home learning. So for COVID-19 uh, resources, okay, we have here guidelines for classroom management. And for hybrid learning at Lego Education, hybrid learning is a term to uh, refer to the variety of methods uh, teachers are using to deliver their curriculum across number of settings. Hybrid uh, learning includes a combination of blended, leaf, distance, virtual, online approaches coupled with shifts or rotation schedule in school buildings. So, you can check out uh, this new Lego Education Spike Prime set lessons as well that can be used in adaptable for hybrid learning setup again. So as you can see, we have here the Spike Prime unit training trackers. You can adapt your lesson for hybrid learning with the help of one of our um, useful guides. So we have here the five ideas and examples of blended learning using the five E models. And we have here guidelines that will help your student manage their learning material at home. So we have here element uh, overview, a material checklist for your student, four steps to manage Lego education materials for at home learning. And we have here activity brips easy to use printable one page that will inspire our student with open-ended challenges okay then for hybrid learning okay there you go we're good with that so let's talk about virtual learning so with virtual learning uh, occurs via use of uh, technology Okay, slash digital tools, teachers and learner are, are in different physical location at a distance. Okay, so uh, we have here guidelines on how we can adapt your lesson for virtual learning with the support of one of our helpful guides. So we have here ideas to prepare engaging online learning for teachers. We have here 10 strategies to engage every student during online learning. And we have here steps on how we are uh, we supposed to manage Lego education materials for at home learning. So this will serve as a good guidelines for hybrid learning. Then uh, we have here uh, guidelines for a su supplement, like if you have the Spike Prime, okay, so supple you can supplement your Spike Prime lesson with a third party virtual uh, experience. We have here uh, the guidelines on how you can discover uh, virtual experiences. And we also have here guidelines on how you can help your student manage their learning materials at home. All right. So let me show you at home learning. Okay. For at home learning with Lego Education, Okay, it always comes with the resources to help you support your child learning at home. So this can be used for homeschoolers as well. Okay, so stay at home 
uh, STEAM learning, our solution always uh, provide a medium for building ideas and models while practicing important skills such as communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. Then we have here uh, guidelines for stay at home, STEAM with Lego education, and at home resources and support wherein you can create an at-home STEAM learning space with our top tips and activities for providing home learning experiences for children K to 8 grade, then guidelines for homeschool resources and support, and seven ways to support your child's learning at home. So let me show you the guidelines for stay at home STEM learning. Okay, so as you can see, we have the, the complete guidelines. Let me show you this uh, video. Today, in every classroom, we're seeing. Just for a moment, let me fix my slide. Right, almost done. And confidence in learning build isn't overnight. built overnight. It's, it's nurtured every, every day. day. In every, in every classroom, classroom, we're seeing learning patterns. With the, With the help of amazing teachers, teachers and, the and the hands on learning tools of, of Lego education, fueling collaboration, collaboration creativity, and, and lifelong learning. Learning starts with confidence. Confidence starts with Lego education. I got it. All right. So as educators around the world uh, address the disruptions of student learning, it's even more important for us to provide meaningful learning experience that help uh, build resilience. With Lego education solutions have been purposefully designed in order for us to increase uh, student engagement and confidence for all our uh, all uh, uh, learners, teachers will find guidance and inspiration to continue hands-on learning with Lego education. Now, for uh, more information uh, about uh, this Brick You Motion uh, solution, you may contact us at Felta Multimedia. Um, a social media account. You can also send your inquiry through Felta Multimedia. Um, okay, just for a while. So for inquiry, you can uh, directly message us at our Facebook page, which is Felta Multimedia Inc. Our Facebook is Felta Multimedia. And you may also send us your inquiry through our Gmail account, which is peltamultimediainc at gmail.com or icreatecafemanila at gmail.com. Okay, now for you to see of what are the other solutions that we have uh, in, with Felta Multimedia since we, we wish to modernize education uh, system here in the Philippines, let me end my talk with the ABP video. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.